you guys ready for the twistiest road in Charleston? It's right here. Whoa! Ah, <laughs> oh, so what is up, guys? Oh, Jesus, fucking oak roots, dude. I know it's been a little bit since I uploaded a motor vlog. Oh my god! It's fucking oak roots, dude. They're like, I love these oak trees because they make this tree tunnel fucking thing. And it's fucking awesome with all the Spanish moss and shit. But dude, their roots are like growing right up under the road. So this fucking road is turning into like a fucking dirt bike rhythm section. Oh, I'm so glad fall weather is here. Oh, it's awesome. Getting up in the morning and it being like 70 out and not like fucking almost 90. The weather down here in Charleston, like where I lived before, you know, more, you know, towards the North Carolina border, like, yeah, dude, it got humid and it got hot, but like coastal humidity is completely different. And I mean, I'm not like trying to like bitch and complain about it. I'm just saying it's, it's a little bit hotter down here. I'm hoping that means it doesn't get nearly as cold. That would be good. Like if all winter it could try to stay like in the 40s and 50s, that would be cool. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some like super cool fucking weeks because um, South Carolina has this thing where like every every like couple winters it's like eh, mild winter, eh, it's second second summer in the middle of fall, like. But then sometimes South Carolina is like, oh, hey, it's like legit winter. For like three weeks, it's going to be in the teens. Fuck yourself. And it's like, great. Great. <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, I know I haven't uploaded a moto vlog in a little while. And hopefully, I don't know what's going on with GoPro. Uh, I guess their mic adapter is like out of fucking stock or not being made anymore. I don't know what the hell the deal is, but... To order a GoPro adapter, like, I basically, they're not going to be back in stock until, like, the middle of this month. It's now October 1st. So, they, because I want to try to get away from this. I, I think you guys can see that. I'm, I'm, I'm running the audio off of my GoPro Hero 3 Plus Silver. Because the, the audio on it is way better than the audio recorder I was using. And as you guys know with the Hero 5s and up. Fucking GoPro wants you to buy this big fucking Duplo block of an adapter that's like 50 bucks and it's a bunch of bullshit. Proprietary Apple-like bullshit. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna bite the bullet and try to buy one of those adapters even though I wanna punch myself in the face for it because it's 50 bucks for a fucking Lego block with a cord on it pretty much. Um, but, yeah, I'm doing the two camera thing, like, it'd be different, I guess, if the camera was, like, on my bars or something, but I'm worried about the wire, like, getting wrapped up around some shit and unplugging or, like, getting stuck behind something and then, like, I turn the fucking bars and, like, it snacks my home. I don't know. Just do one thing if the other camera view was, like, um, beneficial. I don't think there's really be any benefit to having camera views on my face and on my chest they're just they're kind of similar so it is what it is I'm just doing what I got to do but it's annoying dude. it makes the editing process it makes the setup process so much more involved I have to charge two cameras and I have to make sure they're fully charged and I only have you know two sets of batteries for the GoPro Hero 3 it wouldn't be so bad I guess if I had a charging station for the older GoPro like I do my new one like I'll can charge three batteries up at once so that's not quite as annoying to charge the uh, Hero 7. But the Hero 3 is fucking annoying because I can only charge it in the camera. And it's just, it's a whole thing. And then when I edit, I gotta, you know, line the two videos up, strip the video off of one, strip the audio off of the other, and then merge them. And it would just be so much easier if I could just upload just one file from this camera and everything's good. I don't have to do anything. I just cut and splice, cut and splice. So I think I'm going to invest the 50 bucks and try to buy the adapter. I actually did try to buy the adapter when I first got this camera. I ordered it with the camera and all that, and the adapter arrived dead. 
and I just got pissed and was like, I want to fucking make videos now! No, damn it! So I went to Office Depot, and as you guys know, I got some Olympus audio quarter, recorder thing, and like, I, I couldn't get that thing to sound decent, like, worth a fuck. It fucking pip farting on a snare drum sounded better than that thing. If you know, if you know, if you know what movie that's from, you're dope. <laughs> it's election season, aka Americans get fucked again. I'm not gonna get political on this. I would love to see a fucking <laughs> presidents are temporary, Wu Tang is forever sign. I want someone to just stick one out there. You know, I might buy one just to stick it out there. Ah, dude, politics just ah. Nope, I'm not even going to that negative headspace. But yeah, that's, that's another reason. So, yeah, that's one reason why I don't upload any moto vlogs here. Because uh, it is a bit more of a process. Like, it almost takes, like, you know, honestly, an hour of planning ahead of time. And so that pretty much leaves me to only my days off. So I get two days out of seven where I could really go film a moto vlog. Which, you know, I know that doesn't really like seem that crazy I don't even know what I'm trying to say like that seems pretty doable you know just take an hour and go record a video on the weekend you know get out and ride it's not like I don't ride pretty much you know almost seven days a week anyway ah, I love this fucking bike I was uh, pressure washing a college student's house the other day and I seen he had a motorcycle, a uh, Husqvarna motorcycle cover. And I'm like, ah, I know this is like against the code, but I want to see what the fuck's under here. And so I like peeked up under the uh, cover and it was a redheaded Husqvarna, AKA a hand grenade on wheels. I don't think they're that bad. I'm pretty sure the XX, SXV, the Aprilla SXVs are fucking worse, but I've heard the redheaded Husqvarnas can be pretty fucking temperamental. I'm pretty sure they're made through BMW. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, no, I seen that and I talked to us. I, I, I was like, hey, is that your husband? And I mean, he's like, no, it's my roommate. Stipe street legal, bro. It's like the cops try to like light him up. He just jumps the sidewalk, and I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> anyway, the whole point of today's video is my ass is in the wrong lane for one. <laughs> God, I haven't been over this way in a while. So the main point of today's video is we're actually going to go explore kind of a like touristy attraction. I invested $28 into this video, damn it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I had to go purchase a ticket for this uh, Magnolia Plantation. Um, it's like a big romantic uh, plantation and garden thing. And then I purchased the additional $8 ticket to walk the uh, swamp trails. Maybe we'll see some gators or some fucking weird looking birds or something. Or maybe we'll find man bear pig or Sasquatch. Not really, Sasquatch is over on uh, the James Island Expressway. Shit you not, if you live in Charleston, next time you're getting on the, I guess, the Charleston bound uh, direction of the James Island Expressway, look to the right in a clearing and someone stuck a uh, a black Bigfoot silhouette in the fucking like grass. It's just it's so funny. Like you look over and it it, it makes you double take. You're like the fuck. But yeah, so we're gonna go check out the garden. Um, I brought my head strap with me. Um, hopefully they're not a bunch of fucking retards and they're like you need to wear a mask. I'm like I'm not wearing a fucking mask outside, bro. Like that's fucking retarded. I'm sorry. Like, I see people running around and jogging and exercising wearing them big fucking cloth masks. And I'm just like, bro, if, if you know, you do you, you can make your own decisions. But why? That's like a fucking, you must be into BDSM because that's some fucking, that's some sub shit. <laughs> oh, I love doing cardio. I can't breathe. I need to breathe less. Hey! DRC! That didn't look like Reese. Dude, that's another thing. I actually went on a ride a week or two ago with like a bunch of fucking sumos and like a Grom and a Z125. We found a, uh, a um, under the highway, they're building a, uh, a dirt a dirt jumping like fucking track for like bikes. 
Yeah. And we went up under there, dude, and we were like fucking flying around and jumping the fucking dirt dunes and shit. I didn't film it. Because again, I was just like, it was one of those last minute things. And I'm like, fuck, I don't have time to charge shit. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna try to get into a habit to where when I'm done, you know, transferring footage off of my camera, I'm gonna put the shit on the charger so it's like always charged and ready to go so I don't miss rides like that. Cause dude, it was cool. Like I was starting to get a little, uh, not, not depressed, but discouraged and disappointed by the riding scene down here. I mean, I know COVID kind of happened. So, I mean, I mean, what the fuck are you gonna do? No one's really gathering. Um, but I think now for the most part, a lot of people are over that bullshit. Um, and you know, here in a month, I, I believe that shit will be pretty much non-existent once the election's over. I'm sorry if that sounds like me wearing a tinfoil hat, but that's just kind of what I believe. Um, but, anyway. But, yeah, dude, there was like fucking a lot of people. And usually, last time I tried to host a ride, um, actually the last two times I tried to host a ride in the Charleston Grom Supermoto Adventure Dual Sport fucking group. Literally, that's what it's named or something. I don't know. Um, something close to that. But, like, the first time, I did like a little Grom ride. Uh, dude, Chris, he's pretty active though. So he, I've seen him on multiple other rides so far. So he's pretty active. But he showed up on his brand new like Z125 he just got. And then um, this other dude showed up. It's so like two people. So I mean, it's like whatever. I mean, I wasn't wanting like some giant 100 bike group or anything like that. Like I really like groups of about maybe I think like five or six is a pretty good number. Anything more than that, it's a little hectic, especially if you're doing hooligan shit. Because, you know, at that point, you're getting a lot, a lot of, you're getting a wide range of uh, skill levels and stuff. But, yeah, and then the ride I fucking, I planned, or I didn't plan, but the ride I went to after that, like, one other dude showed up. It was, um, and I didn't film that either. That was through, we rode through Francis National, Francis Marion National Forest, Base Ferry. I just picture a bumblebee with a little boat. Come on, guys, we got the bee movie on deck. <laughs> Dude, speaking of like motovlogging, I've actually been watching a few motovlogs here and there. I stopped watching them for a while just because, I don't know. Maybe like slight bit of jealousy, slight bit of just eh, kind of done with it. And just, I don't, I don't know, I didn't really spend a lot of time on YouTube, but I've been spending a little bit more time on YouTube. I've uh, been kind of changing my channel up a little bit. I've uh, been doing a lot more music stuff. I got like a full fucking studio set up now and I can do vocals and it's great. And I love you, dog. Yeah, dude, the whole vocal thing, I'm so glad I can do that now. It's fucking great. Rock Ah, it's so great. Fucking fry screams for days. Did a whole... <laughs> if I did a whole vlog and nothing but metal vocals. Alright, I'm taking a left here! Rush Fucking you! Blah! So I've been watching a little bit more motor vlogs lately. Um, I started watching um, Baker X Derek. Um, he's been doing like these, uh, uh, what's it, not Minesweeper, fuck, metal detecting, uh, metal detecting videos lately. And I was watching, I watched one of one of his uh, ones with the, uh, the Mine Labs fucking one. And like, I'm just watching this dude dig up fucking quarters and I'm like, bro, this is fucking dope. And then it got me to thinking about like where I live. It seems like at least it's a pretty fucking old city, man. But anyway, so like I'm thinking, bro, I want to get a metal detector because number one, I love walking around outside and shit. I love hiking. I love fucking just being outdoors. And I'm like, bro, if I could find like some cool like Civil War shit or some plantation shit or just, I just there's bound to be like, especially around like all these uh, plantations and stuff. Now, obviously, I don't think I can dig up their lawn, but like, just, you know, get near the plantations, maybe walk through the woods. 
can like find shit, I bet you could find some really cool shit like cannonballs and old Civil War bullets. I tried to go here um, in one of my other videos, my other Ashley River Road video, I tried to go to this place and it was like right when COVID happened. So like there was just a lady parked there and we're like, it was all like, we're not open. I'm like, ah. Welcome to Mac and Family Plantation Tickets. Um, I need to know where to park. What's I say? All guests proceed this way. I'm lost. I don't know where to go. Am I, am I in the fucking wrong way? This just seems wrong. I'm on the left side of the road. This seems ass backwards. My anxiety is literally like up here right now. I'm like, am I gonna fucking get hit by a car? Am I going the wrong way? What is going on here? What is this? No stopping or parking. Okay. Damn, bro. This is fucking dope. What is that? Oak Grove Campground and Nature Center. You can fucking you can park. You can camp out here? Dude, I should totally do that. This is fucking dope. Where do I park at? I want to go to the swamp. Tickets required for the Children's Education Center. I'm going to guess I'm going to hang right here. And that's the uh, Children's Education Center or something. Alright. Oh, God. Alright. Uh, parking and tickets. I need to go to parking. Then I need to find a map. And there's a train! Alright, guys. Important question. What is the appropriate amount of chuggas before you say choo-choo? I think... It is six. Chugga 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 choo choo. If one of y'all hit me with that 14 shit, I'm gonna like do nothing. I hope my bike doesn't fall over in the grass. I've got my dope name tag. Dude, did you guys see that green fucking water? Like, it just looked like solid, like a solid mass of like land, but that's fucking like just green shit on top of the water. I'll give you a little bit of history here. Um, Magnolia Plantation and Gardens. It's established in 1676 by the Drayton family and still owned by its descendants. Magnolia is the oldest garden in America. In the 1830s, Reverend John Grimke. Drayton expanded the gardens in the romantic style to create an earthly paradise of harmony between humanity and the natural world. There's all the birds you can see. That bird's cool. Super metal. That one too. Bald eagles. Someone should really pressure wash this deck. Do not push or pull gate. What is it, automatic? Oh yeah, it is. John James Audubon. John James Audubon was a French-American naturalist and artist. Fuck yeah, artist, bro. Although best known for his illustrations and watercolors of birds. He also painted mammals, reptiles, plants, and other subjects in nature. Huh. That's pretty fucking cool. Do not approach alligators. No shit. Like that fucking lady who walked up to the alligator and was like, You don't look like a deer. And then it fucking killed her. Because she's a moron. <laughs> Very anticlimactic. Dude, I can't get over how green the water is, though. I want to poke a stick at it and swirl it around. I want to see an alligator. So, like, I really want to get into botany one day and learn, like, 
about like all these little fruits on different trees like what's edible what's not edible like mash up like pastes and remedies and stuff that'd be cool look at this I think if I ever got lost in a swamp and I had to wade through some shit like this not to sound like a bitch but I would <laughs> just really rather not I'm not a fan of going through water and not knowing what the fuck is in it. Like not being over the sea. Oh. Blackbirds. Hail Odin. Dude, I don't know what it is, but blackbirds and vultures have been like flocking to me lately. Last couple of days I show up at work. Hey, look at this. Check out this little dragonfly. You guys can see that, right? My camera's aimed. Yeah, yeah, okay. You see it? Look at it. The last two days I got at work, man, there was, um, like, 15 vultures. The next day there was, like, 10 blackbirds, 10 ravens out there. Damn, dude, I feel like I got bit by something. Look at that. I don't know what the fuck it was. This is kind of cool. Now, I love Google's uh, HDR processing on photos. Yo, this is cool. Woodpeckers. I've seen one of those. I've seen one of those at um Lauren and Owen's house. That thing was huge too. Okay, alright, so there's a little bit of dry land. I could see a bobcat maybe moving in here. That's fucking cool. I want a picture of that. Oh, I wish I could get the one in the sunlight, but... Snakes. Fucking danger noodles. Cottonmouth. That will fuck you up. The Auburn Swamp Garden is home to several species of snakes. While most snake species are not dangerous, there are venomous snakes that do live here. The most common of these are the cottonmouth and copperhead. These can be distinguished by their triangular-shaped heads, thin necks, and short, stout bodies. The hourglass shaped band across their bodies can also help one identify these snakes. Snakes are beneficial animals as they keep rodent population in check. If confronted, snakes will try to escape rather than strike. If one encounters a snake, it's best to leave it the fuck alone. I like snakes though. I'm fucking terrified of snakes. Rightfully so, dude. Come on. A snake surrounds the ocean and keeps it in. It will fuck you up if you can piss them off. We have a boa. I think that's what it is. Like a boa, a little boa constrictor or... No, 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 ball python. The fuck am I talking about? A boa constrictor. Holy shit, dude. This water level is like right here. Oh, come on, I want a stick. I want to swirl around in it or something. I found a stick. Whoa, dude, that's cool. Look how quick it settles back. It's an alligator jump up out of the water and try to fucking eat me. That's not good. Since I lost my key somewhere. I got halfway through the swamp, right? And then realized I have my key. I left it in my ignition. Man, I gotta stop doing dumb shit like that. Yeah, guys, I know you're not gonna be able to see him probably, but he's right there behind that bush. I think you can maybe see his scales if I, if you look real hard, you can probably see his scales through there. But he's right in that bush. See him? Can you see him? You probably can't. I don't know. Can you see him there? He's just chilling. That's cool. Mm -hmm. 
I decorated for you. That's so cool, dude. Oh, that's crazy. That's a crazy spot. Hello, Mr. Spider. Have you guys seen that video? Oh no, don't hide, Mr. Spider. <laughs> that little girl and the spider. That's really cool right there, though. Whoa, what is that black mass over there? Is that an alligator head? Oh. It's just, I guess it's just mud. <gasps> nope, something's under there. This is some fish. There's some fishies under there. I'm gonna drop a leaf. Drop like a stick on the water. See if something will come up after it. It's a turtle! Yo! This tree looks wicked. Fucking dildos. Oh no, COVID. I swear, the amount of litter, like the masks and just shit everywhere, it's just, it's just like. I hate to sound so cynical, but. Oh shit, shit, you got the burn. I see you. Come on, dragonfly, do something. There he goes, there he goes again. What's he doing? Hello, birdie. Do you have seeding for nine? If you respect my limbs and my hive mind. Yeah, guys, I've been watching way too much Eric Andre show. I wonder what swamp ants look like. I'm not gonna destroy their thing, okay? I'm not a child. I just wanna poke it. See if it'll come out. Look at them. I wonder why ants do that. I just poked this little baby hole and it's just like, attack! Oh, look at the fo Oh, you bastard. Frogs jumped in there. Oh, it's no Hey, they're all over the place. You see them? Hello frogs. Hello frogs. Not an alligator. Brrr. I'd punch you straight in the face. Probably lose my arm too. I always thought these are kind of cool. I wonder what causes these. Was that another big fucking mushroom on the side of that tree? Dude, that is. It is some kind of cool fucking mushroom. You picture of that. You know, it's kind of messed up to think about. I mean, we're near a plantation. Like, I wonder how many, like, dead people are just, are, like, dead, like, bodies or bones or whatever are inside this swamp. Like, from, like, the violence between, like, slaves and settlers and shit. I mean, come on, you know they had to have been, like, killing, killing each other, like, a lot. There's actually a cemetery. That just reminded me, there is a cemetery somewhere on this loop. Do not approach the alligators. They will fuck you up. That's, that's all that sign should say. Don't approach the alligators. They will fuck you up. What are these little... What are those? There's just like little, little ramps out there. I wonder if that's for like, like animals to get up out of the water on, like if they built little like man-made islands for them. American alligator. Dude, that's pretty fucking cool. Alligator Mississippianesis. <laughs> I guess, I guess uh, there's a lot of alligators in Mississippi. I mean, cause you're gonna name the whole species after a state, I mean. It's the largest reptile in the United States. It can measure over 14 feet and weigh a thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah, 
there you go, it is the fucking apex predator of the swamp. Like, that should tell you, do not go near a fucking alligator. It'd be like the equivalent of trying to pet a great white shark in the ocean. Alligators will even prey upon smaller Fucking Christ. Is that an alligator? On that fucking ramp? That is a little alligator sunbathing, isn't it? Is that what the ramps are for? For the alligators? Yeah, I think that is. I think it's for the alligators to get up and sunbathe. Because that's a, that is legit a fucking alligator up on that thing. And here's another alligator over on this one. Oh, dude. That, that's what's up. A fucking alligator. Interior crocodile alligator. Zoom in. Zoom in. Oh, dude, there's a fucking turtle there, too. I thought that was like a big log thing. Look, it's a turtle. Historic African American Cemetery. Ah, that's where I want to go. In memoriam of Hannah, wife of Adam Bennett. Died December 7th, 1908. Aged 64 years. John Bennett. Oh, fuck, dude. He didn't live very long at all. I'm like literally probably standing on someone's grave right now. Jack is going to be like, bro, you're going to get fucking demons on you. Whoa. That's a creepy vagina looking tree. It's another Bennett. Another Bennett. Another one. Let me guess. Let me guess. Bennett. Oh, wait. No, no, no. no. Oh, yep. Haiti. Bennett. 1886. Are the little ones for like babies or something? I don't know. <laughs> That's, if you weren't a Bennett, you weren't getting a fucking engraved tombstone. What the fuck, guys? Did y'all... I didn't fucking say anything. I disturbed a grave. I'm going to be haunted now. Okay, we got another pain. Payne, okay, Bowers, okay, we're getting some different last names. That's cool. What we got here? Cannot read that. So I don't know if it would be illegal, but like, just imagine, like, obviously, I wanna dig around headstones and shit, but, just imagine we had a a metal detector and you know like over in here away from the grave stones and stuff just imagine what kind of shit you could find in the ground we find like old jewelry maybe that fell off the bodies or like you know or or maybe even i don't know bullets or who fucking knows who knows what would be out here okay there's a smith another bennett simon bennett then again, the metal detector thing, I was thinking, I was like, I mean, with all these little stones, just imagine how many people got buried and didn't get a headstone. <laughs> well, if a zombie apocalypse ever comes, don't go here, because there'd be lots of zombies. I mean, I guess if that's, if you're from the school of thought that like, the people that are already dead for years could come back to life. Because technically, these people would be so far decomposed. They would have no m muscle tissue or connective tissue to move around anyway to reanimate. Okay. Now, a necromancer could come out here and make a skeleton pop up. Deacon James Snipe. So we got some Bennett, some Snipes, some Smiths, and some other different ones here and there. It's pretty cool. All right, I need to get out here and film a, uh, or take a picture of a black metal. Whoa! Bro, this fucking spider. Holy shit! What is that? All right, uh, Google. Google lens, tell me what kind of fucking spider this is. Jack would be losing her shit right now. She hates spiders. What is that? 
golden silk orb weaver. Is that an orb weaver? Significance to humans. The spider is not aggressive and only bites if handled roughly. The venom is relatively harmless and rarely causes more than slight redness and temporary localized pain. A single thread of the anchor silk has a tensile strength, which exceeds that of steel. Holy shit. You, you a legit fucking spider. Surgically improving mammalian neuro, neuronal regeneration. What? See, that's what I'm saying. That's why I want to get into like botany and stuff like that because that is fucking cool. Basically, they can take the silk from. Is that a little baby one too, or is that some shit at grand? Uh, yeah, that's a little baby spider. Dude, this is fucking dope though. This is a giant fucking spider. I mean, holy shit. Oh, dude, that's kind of interesting. I thought maybe that was just the sunlight. Is the web really kind of gold? Oh, I guess it kind of is. I thought that was just the sunlight doing a thing on it. Ah, dude, that is fucking nuts looking. Looks like an alien species. Warblers. I like that one. It looks like a duck. I know, I'm a child. It's, it's fine. I'm fine with it. <laughs> What's with the grates? I wonder if they're there for spiders to build webs. That'd be fucking cool. I mean, I can't think what else it would be there for. Can I find another gator? <laughs> Great. Now I've got Monsters, Inc. stuck in my head when, uh, when Randall gets teleported to that, like, those redneck people's houses in the, in the trailer. <laughs> Mama, there's a gator in the house. Get that gator. <laughs> That's cool. Don't worry, I'm not pulling a doctor disrespect. Nobody else is in here. <laughs> 